I'm going to start here. It says, uh, a hiker begins a trip by first walking 25 kilometer at 45 degrees. So I believe with this one, it says south of east. Okay, so here it's 45 down there. And then from a base camp, as in the figure below. So we're going to use this figure. Good. So this is vector A. And now it says she continues 40 kilometers. That is vector B, which is, which is this one here. In the direction of 60 degrees north of east. So we already have all of that. So basically this one here. It is your resultant. All right, so I'm going to draw it in red, that one there. So uh, just, yeah, I just want to draw that in red for you. Okay, that one is resultant. So normally we have to do the components. All right, so let's read the first question A. It says, determine the components, that's plural, plural, of vectors, again plural, of A and B. All right, so we are going to figure out the, 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 the components here. So one way you can do it, I can work out the, the, the components right here. Let me color code these guys. I'm going to make this one a blue one. And I'm going to make the other one. Let's make it purple. I'm going to make this one. Uh, I want it to be purple for me. Purple is nice. So, okay, I want to bring purple there. Yeah, those are the those are the three vectors. Actually, two: the blue and the purple. We okay with that, right? All right. So I'm gonna break. I can do the component right here, right on this diagram, or we can actually individualize them and do and work with them separately. But let me do it here because you guys are the varsity guys. So I'm gonna work with the blue. So with the blue, this is what's going to actually happen. I'm just going to show you with green. First, with this blue, because I want to include the x-axis here. So that means I'm going to go in that direction. And then I also, okay, that was too long. I need to go in that direction and I need to go down, which is that. Can you see that? Oh... Or I can do this and do that. And this angle there, it's also 45 because all together must give me 9. So the choice is mine, how I want to do it. All right. So I can actually do this one here to make space, but no problem. I'll work with the one that you are so used to in the lower grade. So I'm going to go green. I'm going to go green. For the first one, so I'm going to go up there, which is the green one. And then I'm going to use another color. Let's go orange. Orange, there it is. So the green and the orange are the, ve are the components of, the ve of vector A. All right? So now what I can do... I'm going to call this one A subscript X. That's vector A along the X axis. The green one, I'm going to call it A subscript Y. That is the vertical component. Now, look now. Opposite. The 45 is opposite to the, to the vertical. So every, everything that is opposite always takes sign. So this one is going to be sine. So let me quickly say something here that you're going to need. So if you have, let's say you have the, the hypotenuse, that's your hypotenuse there. 
and then you have something like that and you also have that I, I just want to show you how to do it chop chop if I call this one F and then there is an angle here which is theta the th the components the white and the yellow they're gonna take the hypotenuse all the time it's hypotenuse times even the other one hypotenuse times is gonna be times sine or times cos that's how to do it very fast this is Sokatoa so the theta it's opposite to this one here so I should have called that one y actually yeah yeah no or whatever it is that 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 x looks like a thing it's not an x it's a times let me draw it a little bit smaller there yeah there it is force times and then force times hypotenuse times so this one is the opposite it will take sine of theta so hypotenuse times sine of theta the other one is obvious it takes a cos of theta that's how to move fast we good all right or you can do soccer tower and go and cross multiply for now it's quick for us now let's look at this one here this one is going to be equals to vector a which is going to be a and then multiply by because it's opposite it will take sine of 45 degrees actually these vectors are equal and then the ax here it's gonna be a vector a multiplied by cos of 45 degrees now I'm saying this ahead of time the two vectors are equal the components when the angle is 45 here when the when the original vector is at an angle of 45 because cos 45 it's root 2 over 2 or 1 over root 2 or 0, 0,707. Same thing with the sign. All right. So now let me check here first because we can tell what is the magnitude of A if it's given to us. Can you see A is given to us? It's 25 kilometers. Can you see that? Yeah. So I just need to substitute for uh, uh, the, the kilometers. So this is going to be, we said it's 25. I'm not putting the units and then multiply by multiply by sine of 45 and then the other one there it's also gonna be equals to 25 multiply by cos of 45 all right so that one those ones are good those when you press calculator you get an answer for this one let me see how many significant so you only have two significant figures look it's two and five It's two numbers it's four and five forty five two numbers it's four and zero which is two numbers it's six and zero which is two numbers so you're not rounding off to two decimal you are writing that in two significant figures unless otherwise they told you to round off to a certain amount so I'm gonna put the equal sign for this one I think you've got your own beautiful calculator guys so it's 25 sine of 45. If I if if I go to significant, okay. First, let me round off to two for you. Uh, let me round off. Let me not. Let me write as it appears more or less in a calculator. 17 comma six seven seven six six nine five three. It's kilometer. So, but now, since the values are given in two significant figures, unless they told you round off to two or whatever, I don't know if they did. Did they? Did they say that to you? Huh? Okay, so if they didn't, if they did not, so I just need to end up where you see where I'm putting a box. It's two numbers there. But because of the six, this becomes 18. Okay? That's two significant figures. Yeah, it will be 18. But if you want to round off, so let's do both. First, I'm giving you the significant figures, which is 18 kilometers. And then next to it there, I'm going to round off to two decimal places. If you go going two decimal places, you want to end up with what's in the box. That seven becomes the eight. So which means you'll be having 17, 68 kilometers. I, we prefer to do the 
the, the, the final rounding of like significant figures in the last or final, final answer most of the time. Or one step at a time, you can do that. All right. The answer here will be exactly the same here. It's also going to be 18 kilometers or you should go 17,68 kilometers. That's the first vector, the, its component for A. I'm going to do the other one. 